equation, a biology essay equation is made up of two. Welcome viewers, this is Mr. Wanyama. I want to take you through biology essay equations or biology essays, how to write effectively an essay equation and uh, we shall be using some examples on what the do's and don'ts of writing an essay question. An essay question, a biology essay question, is made up of two. It's made up of two things. First, it must have it must have full sentences. Those sentences should be facts well connected. Facts well connected and arranged. Facts must be well connected and arranged. You don't just write sentences anyhow. You don't just write the words. You must use the correct terms, and those terms should be well connected. Now, what are these types of essay questions? The types of essay questions. The types of essays or biology essays. We have two types of essays. We have block essay, block essays, block essays, these ones, this is a question given just in one statement. Then you are applying to make sure that you write your essay based on that one statement. For example, you are asked to describe the role of hormones in the human menstrual cycle. That is a blog essay we are supposed to describe. We describe that one statement is a whole essay. So you give, you will base your essay on that description. Another one is called a spilled, spilled essays. Spilled essays, these ones, they consist of two or more parts. They consist of two or more parts such that you are given like question with the part a then there is a part b or a times part c so the question is divided in different parts for example you are given a, a question part a of the question what is meant by the term digestion then part b of the question describe how the mammalian intestine is adapted to the function you write a so a good essay has a logical flow of points. Therefore, choose an essay that there is a good flow of points. A good flow of points, what does that mean? Simply means that you have enough points and they are consistent with the topic of discussion or the description or the type of essay being given. So we make sure that whatever essay you choose, it must have a good, it, has, it must have a logical flow of points and their first points should also be consistent with the question. We don't just add your jam in the, in the essay. Make sure that they have to read Read through the two given choices. Read through the two given choices. So normally you'll be given two choices. They are mostly at your level, at secondary level, there are two questions. Question seven and eight. So you're given those two options. Read, read through them carefully and understand each question as you underline the keywords or phrases each. Question. So read through carefully by first making an outline. Make an out make an outline to be how much material by how much material by how much material of the content. So when you are making, after choosing the, 
between the two. Then also, I'll try key points. Make an outline of key points of your essay. For example, you have chosen a question. Make sure that you have enough points for that question. So I'll make an outline of that in form of statements, phrases, or sentences. Make an outline in form of, this outline should be in form of phrases, sentences, or statements. So make an outline. This outline will help you, will guide you on how you go about writing your essay. So like, describe the cell structure and its functions. Which type of outline are you going to, to make? I will describe the cell structure and its functions. Then you look at the cell structure. What are the parts of the cell? So make an outline. Make, for example, make an, an outline. For instance, this is the question. Describe the cell structure and function. So what would be the outline for this? The outline for this first outline the parts of the cell. For instance, you may start with the cell membrane. You just make an outline. Then talk of lysosomes. Talk of the mitochondria. So just outline the ribosomes, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies, chloroplasts, name them, the cell organelles that are found within the cell. After making this outline, now make a comparison with the option, optional question. Which one do you have enough points? Then you zero on the question that you have enough points, and then make sure that then, you, after outlining, then you also ensure you go through and write your essay. Maybe another example you may be given. Describe how xerophytes are adapted to living in their habitat. What are the key points that you're supposed to outline? The xerophytes, these are plants found in the semi-arid or arid areas or in dry areas where there's a problem of water. So what will happen in this case? Outline the keywords like deep roots, flesh stems, needle-like leaves, reduced number of stomata, sanguine stomata, waxy cuticle, Impermeable cuticle, small size stomata, short life cycle, shallow and extensive growth system, or reverse stomatolytic. Those are some of the points to outline. outline. Then, having the two, if they are in the same question and they are your choices, then you will pick the one that is suitable for you to, to write. So, let's look at how do you organize and writing paragraphs. Organizing and writing paragraphs. Organizing and writing paragraphs. So first, when you're writing an essay, write the essay in paragraphs. In paragraph form. So that is write in paragraph form. With this. Write in paragraph form with full sentences with facts connected. With facts connected. With facts connected. Then two avoid illustrations. Avoid illustrations. Avoid illustrations like drawings, unless asked to, do, to make a drawing, do not use your drawings, or diagrams. Unless the question is specific, specifically asking you to use a diagram. Unless demanded, then don't involve your drawings or diagrams in your, in your essay. Then three, avoid, avoid writing. Hanging or incomplete. 
hanging or incomplete statements. Avoid writing hanging or incomplete statements. Three, four, avoid contradicting statements. Avoid contradicting. cell develops high osmotic pressure and osmotic potential. Those two terms are contradicting. So avoid using terms that are contradicting. Then lastly, also avoid, avoid using contradicting terms. Avoid using contradicting, contradicting. Terms. When use contradicting terms, they are all they all they all they say will be in full of confusion. So there will be the, the facts and the points will not flow. So make sure that they avoid crossing out. Avoid crossing out responses. Avoid crossing out responses. Never cross out a response before completing writing the alternative. So if you have made a statement and then you realize it's not correct or you feel it's not correct, don't just cross it, it out. Don't cross it out until you provide an alternative for that crossed statement. So when you cross out, it may be in the along the way maybe you are correct. Crossing it out will make you lose that mark. So, before you cross out, make sure that you have provided an alternative step statement to that response. Avoid using brackets. Avoid using brackets. Avoid using brackets by writing biology essays. Because the word in the bracket must be the equivalent. And if it's not, then the point is penalized. The, the word in the bracket is not an equivalent of what you're saying. Then that point will be the point in the black bracket, in the bracket, and also the entire statement may be penalized. For example, you have written in your bracket, you have written the point cells. Then in the bracket you write nucleolus. So the nucleus and the nucleolus are two different parts in the cell. The nucleolus, the cell, they are not the same. The same. So this is not an equivalent of that. But if you have a case like this, cell membrane, then in the bracket you write plasma membrane. In the bracket you write plasma membrane. Plasma membrane and cell membrane they are equivalent. So this one will add you the marks, but in this case they are not related. There is also using using the term using and. Use this term only when the two words or statements being joined biologically agree and are biologically true. Make sure that the terms you join or the statements you join or the words you join in terms of biological terms, they agree with each other or they are true biologically. For example, you use the term, for example, you have used this one. An incisor tooth is used for cutting and grinding of food. An incisor tooth is used for cutting and grinding of food. That is an incorrect use of the term and. Incisors don't grind food. Incisors, they cut, they bite. But they don't grind. Grinding is for 
Perhaps using of R, using when the statement before and after the word are alternatives. Wrong use of R, for example, we may say this. Plants, plants are yeast or garden peas. That is incorrect use of what? Or this is an incorrect use. Correct use of or. Yeast is not a plant. Fungi. So when you say plants are yeast or garden peas, then this correct statement is incorrect. So, but you can simply say, for example, another case, you can say this life cycle, the life cycle, life cycle of insects are either incomplete, metamorphosis. Complete metamorphosis or complete metamorphosis. When you use these terms, when you use or here, it's acceptable because the two statements they they agree with each other. So using or the examiner. What it simply means. When we are talking about excess amino acids are broken down, the examiner already knows that is the amination. So avoid the use of cold. The process is cold. The co organic compound form is this, is cold there. Avoid the use of that term cold. Because already the person that is reading your essay and marking it is aware of what you are saying. You are saying. So avoid that density in your essays to improve on your scoreboard. Adjectives like Big, fleshy, photosynthetic, reduced, Sunday stomata, waxy, small, numerous, lignified. Those are some adjectives which are used in biological terms. And when you use such adjectives, that is, we say use adjectives, use adjectives, and then we have also said the last point is do not leave out points. Do not leave out points. Make sure that in your outline you have made enough points. Make sure that the points in your outline you exhaust them completely so that you increase your score. So do not leave out any points when you are writing and we say include all your points in the lines, in the essays. Write only biological truth all the time. So avoid biological lines. Always write biological truth. Write the truth, the biological truth. For example, you could say plant root hairs absorb water and mineral salts from the soil. That's a biological truth. truth. But if you say Strong heating kills enzymes. That's not correct. Enzymes are in nature by very high te temperatures. So you could have said high temperatures in nature, enzymes, but not strong heating kills enzymes. So also use of biologics is always about 30 minutes to write an essay completely. You need to use about 30 minutes. Manage your time well. That is manage your time properly. This will help you write an essay in less time and make sure that you attempt other questions. Then also attempt only one essay. Attempt only one essay. Attempt only one Essay. We have been given two choices, so don't be too smart to attempt all of them. The instructions are clear. Attempt one. So attempt the one that you are sure about and you have all the points that you will make you so highly. 
So those are some of the guidelines on what you're supposed to do when you're writing an essay question. So make sure that you are able to write essays clearly.